Frank, can you talk about your back chat and then the goal and just, just how that went that off that yeah, I mean, it wasn't just me. I think guys were doing, or throughout our entire lineup, were doing great things. And, you know, for me, I saw uh, one of our defensemen go down there and I knew I had to get back. And uh, I knew the guy was going to try and make a play to the net. And uh, fortunate enough to get a stick on it. And then uh, I think our, our goal, we scored two, a uh, couple goals that our line scored. But, uh, you know, mine especially, I think it was a great play all around. Started in our D zone, and we talk about that. Defending well and get our offense. And I think that that's a reward for that goal. Stay on the right side. Phil, do you feel like you're playing your best hockey right now, and is it because it's the playoffs? Maybe, but yeah, I just I was working hard for the whole season. Uh, there was tough moments, tough, uh, so many chances what I can couldn't put it to the net. Maybe that hockey was wasn't that bad, but when you are not putting puck to the net, like. Uh, you not helping the team that much, and uh, maybe start a little be frustrated. But now that's finally uh, going in. Uh, yeah, I'm so happy that I can I can help the team like this and and winning the games. On the left side, this is for uh, both of you guys uh, regarding Mika. I'm curious um, how dangerous of a weapon is he when he's. Open that open spot there on those on those power plays with those one timers and and also can you address the postseason he's had how much it's energized you guys? Yeah, you know when he's in that spot in the power play, he's a special shot, especially a one timer. You know if if he puts out net, there's a good chance it's going in. And no, he's a competitor. Um, you, I think you see it. I'm fortunate enough to play with him and. You see how much of a competitor he is, how much he wants to help this team win every single night, and it's not just scoring goals. He's he's so good defensively, he kills penalties, he plays so many so many big minutes for us and he's so valuable to our team and uh, for him to just take it to a whole nother level it shows, you know, how how good of a player he really is. And when when you get to the big stage he just brings it to the next level. Yeah, he's a great leader. Uh, you can see that on the eye that uh, he's Pushing us to be better players to all team and and yeah, that's just for me personally. I just, I just can look how how great he is, learn from him, what he's doing, the details, what he's doing, and I can put to my game and how I can improve. Left side standing up. Frank, when you consider that they allowed only three goals in the prior series, how important was it to score so quickly tonight against them and actually score more goals against them? I think that's always the goal is to get uh, going into a series or any playoff game is getting that first one. Um, regardless of who you're playing, you want to always play with a lead. It's always it's always fun playing with the lead and not trying to crawl back in the games. But you know they're a team that can score our goals in bunches also, so we know no lead safe against them. Um, we still got to do the little things right, regardless of the score, and can't give them any freebies. And um, I think uh, the. Second and third period, we did a good, great job at moving our feet and being smart with pucks. Front row on the right, Phil. The, the shift that you guys had that led to your second goal. Just describe what was working so well for you guys on that shift. As we just we just move our move our feet, just playing strong on the puck, and uh, we know that all three of guys we can play with the puck. We are strong down low and. And that was exactly what we were doing. Uh, that was exactly the same mindset what we had through the whole playoffs. And uh, the defensemen, the key, I think Troops was the other day, as they, they helped us there with uh, keeping the puck in the zone. And yeah, that was that was great shift. Uh, and we finished with a goal, and, but there were we just keep the momentum, and, and that was great for the whole team. Right side, second row. Philip, what is it about Alexi and Copper's game that works so well with Lord? Like, we know which is, what is our role in the line. Uh, playing, We play, how I said many times before, we played uh, together last year. Uh, not that much this year. Just started the first game of the playoffs, but they just clicked, and we just started playing. Uh, well, we started play with confidence. Uh, we're young guys, so we just, we don't thinking too much about anything else. We just uh, having fun out there, playing hard and and working for a team. And oh, I said many times, we want to help the team to win the games, and 
and uh, go as far as we can. We'll take three more questions in English, then a couple of <coughs> check for Phil on the right side over here, Art. Uh, Frank, that, <coughs> that shift before Phil's second goal, where you know, it was almost like a 90 second shift in their zone, you haven't had a ton of those this playoffs, but when the garden's going nuts and those guys are working it around, is it, do you guys it just kind of pumping the entire bench up and obviously it depends on the goal? Yeah, uh, it's always great getting a boost from the fans here. Uh, they've been awesome. It's been, for me, coming here, and I know the guys have been saying it all year, it's one of the best buildings to play in in the NHL. And to be the home team, I know coming here on the road, it's, it's not an easy building to play in. And, you know, when when lines are going and having ozone shifts and extended periods of times, so, uh, the whole bench feeds off it. And, I don't know, to get more and more shifts, guys are rolling it over, it, it, it helps us going forward. Frank, how about how sharp you guys were, especially passing time? Yeah, we were sharp for sure. Uh, we knew we needed to keep the puck, uh, you know, make the plays east-west when they're ever not forcing it. Uh, they have a good transition team, and that's what they want is to feed off turnovers. But uh, we cleaned that up and played that north-south game and, and got to open them up a little bit. Frank, this is your first series lead. What is the approach going forward? Take it one game at a time. Uh, they're a good team over there. and. Um, you know, we can't, can't uh, let our foot off the throttle. We just have to keep, uh, keep playing one shift at a time, one game at a time, and, um, you know, stick to our game plan.